Merry Christmas. Let me go see if Santa asks what I wanted. Um, I see no Josh Hutcherson. Bro. Hey guys, so today I am doing the long anticipated what I got for Christmas video. Everybody is like jumping the ball on these really early and uploading them on Christmas day and I'm like, oh. Yeah, I, I, I don't have time for that. I got a lot of chocolate to eat. But I hope you guys who celebrated Christmas had an amazing and awesome Christmas. And for those of you who didn't celebrate, I hope you ate a lot of really good Chinese food and managed to find something on television that wasn't the 25 days of Christmas because I know it's a struggle. So the natural disclaimer, I'm, I'm really trying to brag. I just want everybody to feel so bad about themselves because Christmas is all about presents and money and things. Not trying to brag, y'all. This was so incredibly requested. So apparently you guys really want to see it. And if you don't want to see it, then maybe you shouldn't have clicked it. Just saying. Christmas is obviously not all about the presents and what you receive and stuff like that. If you're religious, it has a religious connotation for it. Or for me, I'm not religious, but I just find Christmas an amazing, happy, and spirited time when I get to show my friends and family how much I love them. We're spending time with them, doing fun things that I consider jolly, going ice skating, and especially giving presents. I love giving presents more than I like receiving them. So I consider a really good Christmas for me if my friends and family are really happy with the sentimental and thoughtful gifts that I get for them. I definitely had an amazing Christmas and I hope you guys did too. So long disclaimer aside, let's hop on into it. On Christmas Eve, my mom actually gave this to me and you guys can see it in my Vlogmas video. So if you wanted to see all of my vlogging every day up until Christmas day, I'll have that link down below. But they are footy pajamas and I'm so excited about them. I love footy pajamas. Mom got these like a size like men's large or unisex large. So they fit perfectly because apparently I'm the size of a large man. Thanks, Mom. They say, don't moose with me, and they've got all these mooses on them with sunglasses. And what I love most about this one is it's got a butt flap. I just take the little buttons off, Velcro, and look, party animal. And I got to wear them on Christmas Eve night and wear them all Christmas day, so I love these. So let's start off with my stocking. First thing in my stocking is from Juicy Couture. And it is this snowflake keychain, and I've wanted this for so long. I know it's a little gaudy and over the top, but I just love Christmas. The next thing in here is the endangered species chocolate, and it is the dark chocolate squares with 88% cocoa. This one is super good, and it's really dark. As you can see, I've already eaten. Next thing in my stocking is from Kate Spade, and they are these earrings, and they're so cute. They're just the little round circle ones, all the rhinestones. So these are really simple and super pretty, and I love you. The next thing in here is the Republic of Teas tea in ginger peach, and this is one of my all-time favorite kinds of tea. Thumbs up if you want me to do a tea collection on my second channel, because I definitely could do that for you. And ginger peach is one of my favorites, and yeah, I love this tea. And the last three things in my stocking are chocolates. I have a Lulu's chocolate smoked sea salt and almond, and it's handcrafted raw chocolate. Then I also got the almond sea salt in dark chocolate, and this is from Chocolate XOXO. And then finally, I got the Enjoy Life, which is the gluten-free dark chocolate, which is dairy, nut, and soy-free, and I'm really excited to try this one too, because chocolate. So now straying away from what my family and Santa got me, I'm gonna go on to my extended family and friends and other stuff like that. So from my uncle, I got a pair of seafood scissors, which was really random when I opened them, and then my mom was like, and the second part of the gift, king crab legs. So I was so excited. So from my other uncle, I got a mounting thing that is for mounting your GPS or anything like that. But to be honest, I know my family's very concerned about my driving and vlogging. So this should be used for my vlogging camera when I vlog in my car. So practical gift, so thank you guys. <laughs> So one of my best friends works at a lingerie shop and she bought me uh, something a little cute, but it's not like lingerie guys, it's like a bra, so get your mind out of the gutter. I'm gonna be the first one to say it, I hate wearing bras. I like wearing bandeaus and things like that. So this is basically like a little bralette and it's like a sheer sparkly like nude gold and it's so pretty and it's by Only Hearts and she's obsessed with me so the only ones that she wears. And I'm gonna have the link to the store where she works, their online store, link down below because they actually sell a lot of the stuff online. Was that awkward? I'm sorry. <laughs> My best friend, who I've been friends with since we were like 10, she was studying abroad in Prague for like six months. Something ridiculous, a full semester. She picked me up some really, really cool gifts from Europe, so I'm so excited to show you. The first thing she got me are from Prague, and they are these leather gloves, which I think are so absolutely 
sassy and really cool and they're so incredibly soft and I just think, I don't know, they're very European to me so I felt really fancy when she gave them to me. The next thing she got me is from the Winter Forest and I'm pretty sure this is from the Netherlands, I think. And it is a candle. I am never going to burn it. It is like a snow covered pine cone candle and I think this is so so freaking pretty. And the last two things she got me, I know were from like a Christmas village. And there are these two Christmas ornaments, which, oh, this one's backwards, but they're just, they scream me. This first one is a silver ball with this beautiful like silver lace netting over the top of it. The other one is a little sparkly white snowy owl, which looks like Hedwig. I just love this. They were such thoughtful gifts and they just screamed me. And I was like, this is why you're my best friend. Honestly, the biggest gift of all that I got for Christmas was her coming home because I was bawling and so excited that she was finally back with me. So next from Sydney's little sister, who's basically like my little sister, she got me this sweater, which I'm absolutely in love with. And this is from J. Crew, and it's like a gray woolen sweater, but then the neckline has gorgeous rhinestones all around it. So I don't even have to wear a big fancy necklace like this. I can just wear this. And this like a popped out collar would be so cute. And she has her own channel. So if you want to check that out, it's Sugar Plum Jerry, and she's like, Literally my little sister, no the girl since she was nine, so she knows me really well, and I love this. So keeping with the Sydney family theme, her parents got me this giant M for decoration for my brand new apartment, and I'm so excited. Her dad's actually an artist, so he has a really good eye for cool stuff like this, and for my birthday, they actually gave me a painting that he did, so I'm so excited that my house is just going to feel like Sydney's family's house once it's fully decorated. But thank you so much, Debbie and Andre. So from my godfather and his boyfriend, they got me a picnic set, and I'm so excited about this because I don't own a picnic set. So I think this will be really fun. I love picnics and I didn't own a picnic basket or a picnic kind of area. My parents were really jealous about this gift, but I'm really excited about it. So thank you guys. So from one of my other family members, I got something from Stour, which I really wasn't sure of what it was, but I guess it's a jewelry company and she got me these absolutely beautiful pieces of jewelry and I'm just honestly obsessed. First I got these hoops and I'm pretty sure these are cubic zirconium. I really hope they're not diamonds because then they would have been ridiculously expensive and they're just these absolutely beautiful um, sparkly stoned hoop earrings. They just remind me of the one that Gretchen Wieners has and she's like, my dad got me a pair of white gold hoops for Hanukkah and I can't even wear them because hoops are her thing. So I feel like hoops can be my thing now. So screw you, Virginia George. <laughs> and then she got me these three bracelets, which literally just scream me and my style. And they're these little wrap bracelets. And there's a gold one, a grayish like graphite one, and then a rose gold one. And I love mixing metals, but these all together, just like stacked with watches and things like that, they're so sparkly and so intricate and so beautiful and dainty. And I just, I died when I opened them. And I went, and my eyes are like wide like a kid in a candy store. So I think these are absolutely beautiful. And these are from my dad's cousin, and she doesn't actually have a computer to watch this video, but I just want to give a huge thank you out in the universe, so thank you. So now on to the things that my awesome mommy and daddy got for me. And huge shout out to my mom because I know my dad doesn't help with shopping, so I'm sorry. The first thing that they got me was the Gilmore Girls Complete Series box set. And I'm so excited about this. I am obsessed with Gilmore Girls. It is honestly, I think, my all-time favorite show. I've been watching it since I was in sixth grade, something like that. And I've seen the whole series a hundred bajillion times. But now I actually have the box set and I don't have to legally watch it online. And then she also got me the complete series of Friends. Again, one of my all-time favorite shows. Been watching this since I was in fifth grade. So I'm so excited about this. And it was all dandy and good until my mom's justification with buying me both these box series was like, so you don't have that many friends in LA, so you got TV now. And I was like, thanks mom. But really, thanks mom. The next thing that they got me was a Sonicare electric toothbrush. And I've been wanting one of these for a really long time. Dental hygiene, y'all. So I'm actually really excited about this, which seems like a random gift to be really excited about, but. Next, I got a whole bunch of socks. The little short ones, and these are black, and they're from Hue. A sixth pair of the Turncuff Sport. Not that I play any sports, but I like socks. And finally, I got a pair of Tommy Hilfiger boyfriend socks because if you can't have a real boyfriend, at least pretend to have socks that look like their boys. The next thing they got me are these sweatpants from Juicy Couture and they're just the new ones from Juicy because they are not boot cut. 
they are like skinny and they band at the angle which I think are kind of more fashionable and trendy and they actually look really cute on I tried them on and I love them and they're just black velour and I didn't actually own any pairs of black sweatpants and I think these are a lot more socially acceptable to leave the house in than like my like neon pink sweatpants and the last thing I got for my parents is the thing I am so incredibly excited about and they are UGG slippers they got me these ones which I think are so incredibly adorable they just look so cute and fuzzy so these are the style in a Ryland in the color sand and I love them I have been wearing them ever since I got them I just took them off my feet to show you but they're keeping my feet so cozy warm and I'm obsessed with them these gifts on top of them just being like literally the coolest parents ever was just out of this world so thank you both so incredibly much I love you so 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 much and the last things I'm going to show you are a couple of Christmas gifts I got for myself because it is important to spoil yourself during the holiday season and after Christmas sales, y'all, come on. The first thing I got is the Laura Mercier Body and Bath Kit, and this is the Creme de Pistache scent and line. And it has the Creme de Pistache Cream Body Wash, the Fragrance Hand Cream, and Body Cream. So I'm really excited about this. This scent smells absolutely delicious. Almonds and nutty scents are my favorite kinds of fragrances in general. And then on top of wearing it, I just feel like I smell like a Christmas bakery. My collection of mugs has gotten absolutely out of control, but of course, instead of being like a normal person being like, okay, Megan, turn to collect something else because you own too many mugs, I'm like, no, keep going, don't stop. And this first one I got from Paper Source, and it says, live simply, expect little, give much, fill your life with love, scatter sunshine, forget self, think of others, and do as you would be done by. This next mug I'm honestly so excited about. If you watch my vlog with the news again, you'll know I went on a quest for about five or six different William Sonomas. I called about 15 of them, tried to order it online, and this mug was sold out everywhere. And then the day after Christmas, someone ended up returning it, and I don't know why you didn't like it, but thank you for not liking it, because I got to pick it up, and it is the monogram mug from William Sonoma with an M on it. I think it's just so old school. It reminds me of like the Polar Express or leaving out cookies and milk for Santa. I Next, I got two cups from Starbucks. The first one is just a classic one with a little Starbucks logo on it. And then I got this one, which is like a metallic kind of burnished looking copper-ish color, which I think is so incredibly pretty. I own the rest of the colors of this line. I've got the red one and like the chrome silvery one. And this one was new and it's got these really pretty grooves on it. And I'm so pissed because I passed up getting the Alice and Olivia little tutu limited edition mug. So if you guys know somewhere that has it, definitely make sure to like let me know via like Twitter or something like that because I will send you money via PayPal to ship it to me because I want it so freaking bad. So if any of you work at Starbucks and have the hookup to the Alice and Olivia mugs, please let me know because I want one really bad. The next thing I got, I am so incredibly excited about, and it is Apple TV. And I've wanted this for so incredibly long, and like you guys saw in my Black Friday haul, which if you didn't, I'll link it down below, I got a 55 inch television, and it's absolutely huge and super cool. So I did read a lot of reviews, and Apple TV can do everything that I want. I can watch Netflix, Hulu Plus, all that really cool stuff. But I can also do music on this, and this doesn't play DVDs, but my Blu-ray player does. So basically, I just completed my television to be the absolute pimped out coolest thing it can be. So that combined with the DVDs I got, I'm definitely never leaving my couch. And the last thing I got for myself, I kind of ordered the week leading up to Christmas and I justified it because it was Christmas. And that is a new computer and I'm so incredibly excited about it. It's going to be amazing. So as much as it is a gift for me to make editing and everything so much easier because my computer I'm working on now is basically completely broken. It's kind of like a gift for you guys too because my videos are going to be so much better quality. My editing is gonna be way cooler. I'm getting different editing software and I'm just so excited. But as much as it was a painful jab to my wallet, it was all in the holiday spirit. Because if I bought it any other time of the year, I'd been like, uh. But I was like, it's Christmas! Spend all the monies! But that is my what I got for Christmas video. I've really just come to appreciate how lucky I am, not just for the material items that I have, but just for the people in my life and how awesome they are. So a huge thank you to all of my friends and family. But then again, a huge thank you to you guys because you guys know I consider you guys my very best friends. So I just want to say thank you to all of you so much. I have hope you had an amazing and awesome holiday season. In the comments below, I want to know what your favorite gift that you gave this year was. Did you spoil your mom or your dad? I know I definitely did. Or did you put a ton of thought into the gift that you got for your parents or your boyfriend or your aunts or your uncles or anything like that let me know what that was down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy what i got for christmas videos and if you had a happy holiday and i love you all oodles and oodles merry christmas